hey guys welcome back to another youtube video it's me your girl emily anyways we're gonna feel like i'll do a lip gloss collection so i have this in separate, like separate i keep um all my lip glosses like kind of like clear more shiny lip glosses in this victoria's secret kind of thing that came in like a pack with like a bigger thingy magigure and i keep all my lip glosses in here i also keep my beauty blender in here so i'm gonna take my beauty blenders out and we're gonna start hmm, i have a lot of Victoria's secret lip glosses but we're gonna stop <laughs> start with i have the chap eyes this is from the dollar trees lip treatment Premium jelly original protects dry chap lips i used to have like the rosy one but i lost it so this i got this from tj maxx for two dollars it was on sale but it's really good um, the, the problem is that all the writing, the text has come off, but it's a Milani one. It's a rose hip oil. It's really good. Mm, I like that a lot. I wear this mostly every day. I bring it to church or something. Anyways, I got this from the beauty supply store. It was like kind of expensive, but I checked on a website. It was actually for like $1.00. I don't know if that's the regital price, but anyways, this is the Shea Butter Enriched Crystal Gloss. This is really good, but it's like really sticky. So if you like sticky glosses, but it's really moisturizing. So was this one. This is the Moisture Lock one. Then we're gonna go to my Victoria's Secret glosses. Um, ouch! I have a lot. Like they were having a semi sale, so I got a lot, but I already had like five before that. I think I don't know how much I have, but I basically have five. You wanna be like. By the way, I just got my hair done today. So, yeah. I'm going to reapply this. It's really easy to put on, too. you I just spit. So, I had the Satin Gloss Favorite Lip Shine Victoria's Secret. It was It's originally $10, which is kind of expensive, but whatever. I think this is the Strawberry Fizz one. I, like, left the text, so I don't really know... But I'm just gonna guess that it is. Cause I got I got some that came in a pack, but I shared it with my mom. Then I had the satin gloss and it has a thing on it and it says candy baby. It's a really nice one. I recommend it. But if you like it it will I don't know, if you have like lighter lips, it won't really you know come out as more pigmented as it should be so if you have dark lips that'll probably work out for you then i have this other set and gloss and this is a grapefruit blast by the way all of these smell good um this one it don't really smell like strawberries to me i mean kind of the artificial stuff but whatever then i had this minty shine it tastes so good like i accidentally got it in my mouth but it was like really good and it's a minty shine and it's, and it's called minty it's really good i think i got these for six dollars for the sale i don't really remember because i went with a friend Then I had this also the satin gloss of Victoria's Secret and it's called Slice of Heaven. It smells okay. It just smells too strong and vanilla-y. Uh, I don't really like it. And it don't really come out. I thought it was going to be like holographic, but it's okay. I guess. Yeah. And then I have one last one. This one's really, really good. I'm almost gone with it. It's almost gone. But this is the Victoria's Secret satin gloss. I know I keep on saying that. It's kind of like chipped. But yeah. I have passion fruit. This smells really good. So, y'all better top some, you know? And here is all my Victoria's Secret glosses. And I have six of them. Yeah, six. Now we're going to go with more makeup-wise. For my... Oh! The nails are so clear. And then, here's more makeup-wise. Um, This is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss. Got this from Walgreens because... I don't know. I thought it was going to look good because it looks so good on the model. But it's honestly kind of bad. But it's okay. Sorry if the lighting's so bad. Wait, let me fix it just a little bit. Wait, wait, there we go. Okay, that's better. Yeah, it's really, it's okay. 
But okay, let me come back with you guys. I'm back and I fixed the lighting, so I think I was on. Yeah, this next one, make a shine. It's like watermelon flavored. It smells like watermelon. It's all right. Um, it's okay. Actually, and also by the by the way, guys, I'm gonna tell you guys which one lasts longer and which one that I really like, and then. Yeah, so you guys can get some, and I'll give you guys my personal opinion. This is kind of good. The applicator's good. It's, it's okay. It's kind of tint, so I'll, if you want to wear a lot of this, don't, because, oh, I got scared. I was going to fall off, but. Oh, my gosh. Holy crap. Anyways. <laughs> Um, so that's for that, and I'm going to show you guys in a second, but anyways, this is the Lip Fusion in Fat Ocean, whatever it's called. <laughs> um, oop, that is, okay. This is really good. My friend gave this to me. It's good. I mean, it's kind of messy, but it's like, it's it a pretty good applicator. It burns your lips, so it's like, kind of like a lip plumper. So the girls out there who have really small lips. You can cop you some. Yeah. He's smart. Sit back and relax and enjoy the ASMR session of me. Laura Bina. Anyways. not as wet anyways then i had the sephora one i got this last summer it's really really good i thought this was gonna be a matte lipstick but it's not but it's okay it's sephora and it's called deep rose and it has a number six on it i don't know what that means but yeah here's my necklace guys if you want to see it i got it from claire's if you wanted to know and it's really good. The applicator is like nice. I don't use it as much as I used to because this was expensive. Like Sephora, be much cheaper. Should have went to Ulta, but like color pop. But anyways, then I have this Nick Bullet Nyx Butter Gloss. This is the best lip gloss you can ever get from the drugstore. Like I'm not even joking. Like it's really really good. Mm, it's really really good, and it has a nice formula. And it's really moisturizing and I got the angel food cake and it's really good and here's the applicator it's like that it smells really really good it smells like it's like cake batter like artificial cake batter you feel anyways now we're gonna go into the real thing I'm gonna tell you guys that okay I'm gonna go to my favorites and least favorites so, my favorites are the Milani Lips Gloss Moisture Block. This is the rose one. I got this from TJ Maxx. <laughs> Anyways, because I wear it a lot. I like the minty, sh well, actually, I like the crystal gloss because it's really moisturizing and it's popping. But I don't like because it, I don't like it that much because it's sticky. And then I love this a minty shine Victoria's Secret refreshing lip gloss. It kind of like a burning minty sensation on your lips, so it's really nice. But the thing I don't like about it because it doesn't last long. Like no Victoria's Secret lip gloss lasts long. Like if you get a glittery one, it'll leave glitter on your lips. But like, anyways. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. I also have this lip gloss. This is the LA Colors from the Dollar Tree. It's really bad. It makes it leaves your lips dry. But anyways, besides that one. I'm going to put, okay, this is the fourth good one, one of my favorites. It's the NYX Butter Gloss. I really like this. I really recommend it to you guys because it gives a nice tint, and you can wear it to school, and I think your moms or dads will approve it. So, yeah. And then, and then I'm going to give the fifth one to Sephora because it's like the same thing. So it's literally glittery, but it's really good quality. I just don't wear it as much, so I'm not going to put it as a higher ranking. And then... I put the Victoria's Secret glosses. I'm gonna put this one first out of all of them. I'm gonna put this second, no, second, third, fourth, fifth. 
because it's don't really go off as holographic. So I thought it would be. And then we're gonna put this lip infusion as the I lost count. And then the next one, I'm gonna put it, no, actually, yeah, I'm gonna put this next and I'm gonna put this LA Colors last because I don't really like it as much. And then I'm gonna tell you guys which one lasts longer. Okay, so this Milani one lasts longer uh, for like a couple of hours and then it'll like kind of like dry out, but it's still moisturizing for your lips. So you, when you do this, it'll still be good. So I really like this. This one is really moisturizing. This will probably last you like the whole day. But if it's like really cold outside, like none of these lip glosses will last long. But if it's like summer outside, it'll be good. But just don't worry too much because it will get sticky. And when you talk about, you know, it will be like that. And that's nasty. And then the Victoria's Secret glosses are going to be last because they don't last long. But they're really good. The formula is great. The, the smells are great. But I just don't get why they're $10 though. Because you can get a good one for cheaper. Because the next one, the next one is really good. It's only five dollars, so. <laughs> oh. And I'm gonna put these for like kind of good moisture. They're pretty good for like tinted lip glosses and then. And then yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put this last because this is not moisturizing at all. It's terrible. But if you want to get out the house and put some lip gloss on, and you don't want to like last it for that long, I'll recommend that. And then this one could kind of go as like pretty good. It's pretty good moisture. Um, it'll probably last you for like four to three hours. And then this one's pretty good. Um, and this one, obviously, it's a lip balm, but people still show it in the video, so yeah. And by the way, I'm going to show you guys what I was talking about and why was I freaking out. came over here and hopefully fixed that but anyways guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe here is all my lip glosses um yeah bye